came back. So what was one of those driving factors that made you go from being in front of the camera to behind the camera? <sighs> Reality. <laughs> <laughs> Reality, you know? And also, but it was, it was a good reality because um, it was through someone that I, I supported a lot. So a, a good buddy of mine, Tobias Trevelyan, who actually is one of my clients now, and he's actually my first, you know, my first client and probably the catalyst for the Talent Connect. Oh, wow. Um, him and I have been friends since high school. High uh, we played, school? Oh, yeah. We played football okay, together. Okay, students. <laughs> look to your left, look to your right. Left. Maybe one of them. Right. Crisscross, <laughs> up, down, you never know. Um, you know, we've connected uh, as brothers, really, um, you know, in high school. And ever since then, we've been really connected. You know, we played football. I, I played, if you know anything about football, if you know anything about football, you know, we were on defense. And uh, I was the strong side cornerback. He was the left side. He was the right side. And... Um, yeah, and so we, from that point forward, we were just really close. Um, I had no idea that he was going to go into um, entertainment or acting or anything like that. He actually initially started as a model. Um, but at that time, when I was in high school, I, I had nothing to do with the arts. I just still appreciated it, but I just never, I, I got back into it in college. And, you know, that's another conversation we can have. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but when I met him, you know, we, we really hit it off. And then eventually I went to college for about a year. Him and I had uh, disconnected. And then um, another friend of his, him and myself, uh, I'm sorry, a mutual friend, yeah. we actually, um, he was rolling video footage of me acting on set or, you know, doing something in particular. Tobias saw it and he was like, oh, that's my boy from back in the day. I didn't know he act. And then him and I reconnected. And then from that point forward, we said, um, when we reconnected that we were going to, uh, together, you know, take this industry by storm. Yeah. And so at that time I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. So I, I, I got back into the acting. I got back into, you know, going into auditions at that time. It was called go -sees. you know, uh, the industry is much different than the way it was back then in the nineties where, you know, breakdowns, uh, the breakdown services and actors access really didn't exist the way it does now. Yeah. Everything is electronic. Um, back then, you know, you had to go into offices, you know, you had to walk around with your hard copy <laughs> pictures and all that crazy stuff. Um, but getting back to how I transitioned back into it, um, that was really one of the ways that I, I got back into acting as a, um, sorry, got into the industry, got back into the industry as an actor. And then what was happening was both Tobias and I, we would go on these auditions and, you know, most of the time he was more successful than me and probably most of the other people that were around us. So, you know, over time, you know, what ended up happening, we were going to a lot of events and a lot of his productions together because we still support each other. And because he was probably the talent that we were there for and I was just kind of there supporting him, um, I kind of fell into this other space of, all right, let me support my boy. Yeah. You know, uh, at that time we didn't have agents, we didn't have managers. And so it was kind of like we were just out there on our own, bumping off trying the to roles, it. trying to figure it out. <laughs> so I started off as just kind of supporting him. Then eventually I, I ventured into, uh, you know, assisting and then probably be a part of being a part of his emails, email chains. Uh, he eventually got a talent agent, um, you know, and so I, I would watch all of that stuff going on. And I would also be a part of the email chains that would go out mm -hmm. and, and, and that would really detail what the business was about. Um, and so I started picking those things up and then eventually um, he had to uh, leave his agent. And so I kind of, you know, kind of stepped in a little bit and started sending out emails for him. And then we actually saw some traction yeah. and didn't realize that we can actually do this on our own. Yeah. And so that's where, you know, I started to take it a little bit more seriously. Yeah. Um, reached out to some mentors. Um, I, at that time, uh, I got my, you know, at the time I created the, an LLC. Uh, at the time it was Talent Connect itself. And uh, because I didn't want to continue to send out emails in my email saying like, Big Wink 2000 <laughs> <laughs> at Yahoo, you know what I'm saying? This to, to network studio, yeah. network studio. So yeah. for me it was, you know, how do I, how do I legitimize this thing? Yeah. You know, how do I legitimize what we're doing where, um, you know, I can uh, play a role in helping to push his career forward. I don't necessarily have to be in that. I, I didn't, I wasn't as strong enough, 
you know, to yeah. deal with the idea that I went through all this hard work, waited on those long lines of 300 and plus uh, people to get in and, you know, they loved me or they did it. It was like, you know, I was this product. And for me at that time, I just wasn't strong enough. I couldn't understand it. Yeah. I wasn't that connected with myself at that point. Right. And so I, I, I made that transition um, uh, also because I had other things going on where it was like I, I could not continue to go on to go sees or the auditions at the time. So eventually, you know, I just kind of fell into the space of talent manager. Well, uh, supporter. I uh, didn't really become a talent manager until I really understood the game much more. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't want to call myself that. It was just more I was just kind of, you know, helping to coordinate, helping to package, helping to do PR, helping, you know, when you do those things, you start to learn the different aspects of the business. You know, uh, I already knew what it was to be a hard at working actor and going through the pain, right? Um, then there's the whole PR piece, then there's the training piece, then there's the business side, understanding uh, really the etiquette of the game, because there's really no rules yeah. out there, you know? And so, so yeah, so I just kind of fell into that space. And after we did the, um, uh, we did a few um, movies, uh, and he landed, I think, um, was it Empire, Fox, Empire, right? Yeah, he was D major on Empire, <laughs> you know, which was a huge deal. But even before that, I think he got his first lead role in a production here in Atlanta. What? Yeah, in a production here in Atlanta. <laughs> That's what we do, baby. Oh, yeah. Do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Matter <laughs> of fact, um, uh, Kimberly Jones, who most people know her now as a... Um, you know, an activist, you know, out there on the front lines that's, you know, helping to address the, um, you know, the brutality and, 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 and all the crazy stuff that's going on when it comes to policing and yeah. stuff like that. She was actually, believe it or not, she's super talented. She was the production uh, coordinator. She was the person that pretty, pretty much put everything together. And uh, she hired Tobias and her and I started to communicate. And um, actually, which interestingly enough, um, and I'm, I'm rambling, just jump in whenever you need to. Oh, yeah, I yeah. got a lot of questions probably. <laughs> I'll say this real quick. That's actually how, that's, that's what led me into some other talent, uh, one in particular, uh, Terrell Hill, who also was on the same project as Tobias. And so um, there's been a lot, of, uh, a lot of steps along the way that kind of helped me um, shift from actor to supporter, to, um, you know, coordinator, to, uh, you know, then eventually, you know, manager.